and be ready to go. All right, beautiful. Well, thanks a lot, everybody, for joining in tonight. Uh, tonight's our Tuesday product and science call um, that, uh, that I do along with, uh, with Michael Quatch uh, from our product education team. Um, so uh, tonight's gonna, tonight we're going to do sort of two presentations uh, in one, right? So you're getting, a, you're getting sort of a double whammy bonus effect tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about stress and foods and nutrients that help with the stress response for the first part of the presentation. But then we're also going to talk about uh, what you can see on this first slide here, this virtual experimental biology conference presentation. So yesterday was supposed to be the day for me to present at, at this giant conference in San Diego called Experimental Biology. I was going to present um, our, our new clinical trial on the Kids Mood Plus product. Uh, so that was supposed to be yesterday. The experimental, experimental biology conferences should have been going from the 4th to the 7th. It should have ended today. Uh, but because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, everything's being canceled. You know? So uh, what I'm going to do is you know, unveil the, the, those data and give the presentation tonight as if I would have done it yesterday uh, in San Diego. So, but before we start, you know, I said that the, the sort of main topic tonight is going to be around nutrition and stress. And I want to use the Amari Kids line as a way to kind of lead into that. Because in the Amari Kids line, we've got, we've got nutrients like vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients that help the stress response. We have got attention to the gut-brain axis and what's happening with gut integrity and the microbiome and the immune system, which leads into that. And then we have the Kids Mood Plus product, which is this new data that I want to get out to everybody. And so I figured that this would just be a good sort of format for me to use um, to, 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 to run through. But it's not going to be a kid-specific sort, of sort of a presentation. It's going to be sort of you know, all over the place. So when you look at our kids pack, you know, it just sort of outlines um, and sort of chunks each one of those pieces that, that, that really helps us with an overall stress response. We have the nutrition piece, which is very well represented in this Kids Vita GBX formula. in this kids mood plus product and the adult mood plus product. So, you know, I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the kids product as a, or the kids pack as that overarching framework to talk about all of these, these sort of scientific nutrition concepts as we go through. Um, and it, and it, and you know, I think it's important because like when we talk about stress, which is so prevalent these days right now, especially the last month or so where we've all been, you know, sort of hunkering down and wondering when it's going to end and wondering what's next and all that kind of stuff. There's an aspect of getting people to get through this quagmire of stress and anxiety and, 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 you know, what can lead to insomnia and anxiety and hopefully not depression and burnout, but that's the, that's where we are right now. We're, you know, we're all in that kind of chronic stress space. And so that's certainly a piece of it. People want to alleviate that. But the other side of that is not just how can we control our stress, but it's how can we be more resilient in the face of that stress? How can we not just solve a problem? How can we take ourselves to a better place? And how can we improve our focus? How can we improve our mental performance? How can we even improve our physical performance? And those are the kinds of principles that I want to talk about as we go through here. So if you guys tuned in before we actually started recording and things like that, you probably heard us chit-chatting a little bit. Somebody asked us, you know, there were some questions going around about COVID-19 and things like that. And somebody, you know, sort of chimed in and said, hey, you know, I'm new here. Do you guys have any products that help with COVID-19? And I said, no, not in sort of that framing, but we have a heck of a lot of products that work through the immune system. And that's important to understand because right from day one, you know, three years ago when we were putting this, this company together, we knew that we wanted to be the mental wellness company, right? We wanted to help people feel better in terms of modulating stress, improving mood, improving focus, improving all the things you saw on that, on that previous slide, mental performance, physical performance, stress resilience, all that kind of stuff. And the most cutting edge way to do that is to do it through what you see on the screen right now, this idea of the gut brain heart axis. So from the very, very first day, we were helping people feel better in their brain. 
in terms of all those psychological metrics that I just mentioned. But the way that we've been doing that is by harnessing this very new science around the second brain in the gut and the third brain in the heart and harnessing those signals and, and modulating those signals and, and amplifying those signals so that the brain in the head gets the right kinds of signals. But how do those signals that come out of the gut in, in, you know, in the form of neurotransmitters and how do those signals that come out of the heart in the form of electrical signals, how do they get to the brain in the head and, and, and it improve our mental wellness? Well, they have to travel through the axis, which is in large part your immune system. So in order to make these signals go through the immune system at the most optimal and efficient manner, we have to do something called priming the immune system. And that not only... people feel. So, you know, Michael and I have done presentations about that, what I just described, the immune system piece that are in, in, in excruciating detail. And those are all posted all over the internet. So you can find them, you can find them, uh, you know, on social media, like Facebook, you can find them on YouTube, you can find them on my blog, which is just my name, SeanTalbot.com. We've done other videos that are deep dives into stress physiology. We've done a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to leave it there. And People who want to get those details in those particular areas, you can go and you can go and find those, you know, find those, um, find those specific um, um, outlets where we've where we've posted that kind of stuff. But I want to get into the topic for tonight, which is how can we use nutrition to modulate our stress response. So I've been writing books about stress physiology for about 20 years, and one of the very important sort of central constructs that we need to understand is that if we are deficient or we're suboptimal in any of the major vitamins or minerals, we're going to have a suppressed ability to mount an appropriate stress response. Uh, I'll, I'll get into what I mean by that in just a second. So what, one of the most important things that we need to do is make sure that we have a good foundation of nutrition. That means we have to have the right vitamins, the right minerals, the might Right, right phytonutrients, the right essential fatty acids, the right fibers, all of that stuff, which should be in our baseline diet, our baseline nutritional profile, very often isn't. And because of that, because we're not eating the diet that we're supposed to be eating, especially now when we're all stress eating and we're eating more chips than we are eating kale salads, that is not giving us the right nutritional profile to have that appropriate stress response. And that's where a, a, a formula like this, like Vita GBX, kids Vita GBX or adult Vita GBX. is a way for us to give a, a, a multivitamin that nourishes the body and nourishes the mind at the same time um, and, and gives you a benefit that you can actually feel, that people feel more clear, they feel more focused, they feel more engaged and better concentration. And I'll, I'll show you some of the specific nu nutrients that do that. But trying to do this in a way that really matches as much as possible the, the dietary patterns that are associated in large scale clinical trials with the best mental wellness outcomes. The reason we formulated this way is to match those diets. And so what those diets will look like are, for example, the Mediterranean diet, the Okinawan diet, the Scandinavian diet, those sorts of the anti-inflammatory diet. Those diets are, you know, it's sort of broad stroke are lots of whole foods, lots of brightly colored fruits and vegetables, lots of fiber, lots of healthy fat. What they're lacking is a lot of sugar. What they're lacking is a lot of processed foods. And so what we try to do is match the nutrient profile of those dietary patterns as much as we could from a, from a, from a, from an essential nutrient perspective in this Vita GBX formulation. So what you'll see on the left-hand side of this supplement facts panel are not just all the vitamins and minerals that you need from an essential vitamin and essential mineral perspective, 
but bioavailable forms of them. So what that means for people when you're looking at a label, let me use, let me use an example like this. Here's vitamin E. We're using D-alpha to cofferyl succinate. This is a very, so first of all, this is a natural form of vitamin E, um, not a synthetic form. A lot of products will, will skimp on the price and they'll use a synthetic form that you'll see as D-L-alpha to cofferyl some, some kind, to cofferyl acetate or something like that. This D-alpha indicates a, a natural form. This is gonna be absorbed better in the body, but it's also gonna be retained better in the body, and it's also gonna be delivered to target tissues better in the body. A synthetic form will be absorbed okay, but then it will actually be filtered out very quickly by the body because the body recognizes it as a synthetic form that isn't quite right structurally. So these are the little nuances for people to understand that when we, when we select an ingredient, when we formulate a product, we go ingredient by ingredient by ingredient and make sure we're giving you the right nutrients at the right levels in the right forms so your body can actually use that. So people will say to me all the time, well, is it bioavailable? And what they're, what they're, what they're usually asking is about absorption. And absorption is only one piece of that whole cascade. Remember what I just said, absorption, delivery, make sure that it's not filtered right out of the body, that it gets to the target tissues and actually has a beneficial effect. So when you go down here and you look at these different levels, you can see that the, you know, the B vitamins that we're using are methylated versions. You can see that the minerals that we're using are chelated versions. These all speak to the ability of these to be absorbed and actually have a biological effect in the body. So that's 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 important from a from a from a uh, from a from an efficacy standpoint of these essential nutrients. These are the kind of nutrients that are going to be rich in those Mediterranean style diets, in those whole food style diets. And unfortunately, if we're eating like most Americans do and eating too many processed foods, we're not getting these in our food. So it's really, really important for us to supplement with those. Even if you think that you're eating the perfect diet, I still recommend a daily multivitamin for people because that diet might provide baseline levels, but we know that we can bring you up to these optimal levels that will really help your body mount that appropriate stress response when you, when you need to mount it. Um, what we also have here is not just the vitamins and minerals, which you see on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side of the supplement facts panel, you see this bright mind proprietary blend. This is including amino acids and phytonutrients that are not really essential in terms of vitamins and minerals like they are on the left, but they're really important. They're really meaningful in the kinds of effects that they can have in your body. And so you know, even further to the right, you can see that I've bulleted out some of these so that I can really highlight them for people. So this first uh, ingredient, this tyrosine, this is an amino acid that the body will use as a precursor for dopamine. That's really important. We'll make some dopamine in our gut, but we'll also make dopamine in our brain. And if we can provide a building block for that dopamine, we're going to have a lot more of this neurotransmitter, which is the neurotransmitter that's associated with being motivated. That's what a lot of people need when we're in a stressful environment. We need to have that motivation to rise to the occasion, to, to be resilient in the face of that stress. We also have a, a very nice survey size of polyphenols. Polyphenols and flavonoids are these kinds of, of, of compounds that you'll find in berries and citrus and, um, and, and, and lots of brightly colored fruits and vegetables. Typically, the polyphenols are going to be in the fruits and vegetables that are, that are purple and blue and, and, and orange and things like that. You'll see carotenoids down here. I'll get to in just a second. Those are going to be in the, you know, in the orange and the yellow sort of family. So that's one of the reasons that we tell people eat a, eat a rainbow of, of fruits and vegetables because the reds are going to give you certain nutrients like lycopene. The oranges are going to give you certain carrot, you know, uh, uh, carot carotenoids like beta carotene. Uh, the, you know, the blues and the purples are going to give you flavonoids and they all have beneficial effects, some in the microbiome and the gut, some in the brain, some in the, in the immune system axis. But if we can give you that diverse collection of, of phytonutrients, you're going to have signaling qualities across 
the entire gut brain axis. And that's what's going to really improve your mental wellness. We also have precursors for, uh, for acetylcholine, one of the brain's primary neurotransmitters between those neurons. So choline is used as a precursor to make more acetylcholine so that we can be more focused. We can have good memory. We can have good creativity. We have carnitine and lipoic acid, which for, for old guys like me, I would look at and I would say, oh, really good anti-aging uh, anti kinds of nutrients to get my cells to be metabolically competent, right? To be able to do their metabolism at the right level. And that's really important when we're talking about brain metabolism. But it's also important for growing brains and teenage brains and any brain that wants to do appropriate metabolism. Your brain uses about 20% of your total calories in a given day. And so if you can have really good metabolism that is supported by carnitine and alpha lipoic acid, that's going to be good for your brain's ability to do work no matter what age group that you're in. Astaxanthin is one of the most potent um, uh, uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory nutrients. This is really expensive for us to add to a multivitamin, but we do it in Vita GBX and Kids Vita GBX because it can really protect vulnerable cells in a way that a lot of other antioxidants won't do. One of the benefits of astaxanthin is that it has a fat soluble portion and water soluble portion. And that's important for neurons because they're very susceptible to oxidative damage and inflammatory damage. And so the more we can protect those in a, in a very comprehensive way across the entire cell, the better your brain's gonna perform, especially when you're under stress. And then this is important, that an, a, a, an important consideration that you wouldn't necessarily get with a quick glance at the label. I wanna, I wanna point you to something here. If you can see my cursor, you can see that down here we have full spectrum tocotrienols. And then we list out alpha, beta, gamma, delta tocotrienols. We have full spectrum to tocopherols alpha, beta, gamma, delta tocopherols. We have mixed carot natural mixed carotenoids, alpha, beta, gamma, carotene. Uh, we have lycopene, we have lutein, we have zeaxanthin. What I mean when I say here, full spectrum E, full spectrum tocotrienols, full spectrum carotenoids, we're not giving you just one form. When you look at these natural forms of vitamin E tocopherols, tocotrienols, which is sh sort of like a short chain vitamin E, and carotenoids, there isn't just one form, like beta carotene, for example. We want to give you the full spectrum because they work in slightly different ways to protect your cells in, 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 uh, in a comprehensive way if you give them the right way. So we want to give them natural because they're better absorbed and retained in the body, but we really want to give them natural because we get that full spectrum of all those different, slightly different isomers so that we protect you in this most, in, in the, in, in the, in the most full way that we can, um, you know, across all those different parts of your, of your, um, of your entire um, gut brain axis. So that's a really, really important concept. And there's very, very few multivitamins out there that, that even go to the level to give you all those different forms. Okay, so um, suffice to say, the, 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 the idea for that sort of a formulation came from the dietary patterns that are out there that are associated with the, with the longest lived, highest mental wellness populations on the planet. And, you know, it's, let me go back real quick. This formulation is not going to replace the need for us to have those whole food diets. But when we're not eating those whole food diets on a daily basis, it really helps fill that gap, right? It, it's sort of, it's sort of that bridge from one good meal to the next good meal. And especially these days, you know, there's a lot of bad meals in between there. So really, really important for people to get those get that, you know, that baseline foundational nutrition. But, you know, people also ask like, wait a minute, you know, 
that's great multivitamin, but you know, is it really going to do something that I can feel? Yes, because of that Bright Mind proprietary blend, the kinds of nutrients that we're using there are things like this, the Enzoginol New Zealand Pine Bark Extract, which I talk about a lot because it really has some amazing benefits for overall memory. Here's an example of, of um, different ways that we can measure memory in people. And in the Enzoginol treatment group, you're seeing a much, much faster brain speed in people who got the Enzoginol versus people who got a, who got a placebo. So that's helping your brain do what we want our brain to do. It also helps, and this is really important for parents who are listening right now, it helps to calm that monkey mind, right? When we're sort of tension, anxious, and under stress, we can use food and we can use specific targeted nutrients to help calm that monkey mind, calm that sort of buzzing in the brain and bring us to this, to this, to this focused concentration, this relaxed alertness sort of, a, sort of a space. So that's just one of the examples of how these nutrients don't just give us the foundation, but also give us this functionality that's above and beyond what, what any other multivitamin on the market is gonna do. Okay, so that's, that's Vita GBX, right? It's that, it's that, it's that plug that we can put into the middle and really help bridge across the times when we're not getting the food or the, or the, or the nutrients from our, from our baseline foods. Okay. So that's Vita GBX. I want to talk just a little bit about what we can do with, with our, with our fundamentals line, right? Whether it's the kids line or the adult line, this is something that, you know, again, Michael and I talk about gut brain axis details all the time. I want to give you a very, very quick overview of, of, of what we've got built into this and why it's important from a nutritional standpoint to help us um, be able to buffer the effects of the stress in our lives. You know, we talk a lot about how most of our neurotransmitters are actually are actually primarily made in our gut. Most of our serotonin, most of our dopamine, most of our norepinephrine, most of our GABA, all the neurotransmitters that help us feel the way we want to feel are, are, are primarily made in the gut. And so if we can give a nutrient profile that, that enhances our ability to produce those neurotransmitters, that's going to help us feel better. So this is what the this is what the ingredient profile looks like of kids fundamentals. It looks very similar in terms of the main ingredients in adult fundamentals, but it's spread across three products. So what you're looking at is a prebiotic blend, three different um, um, uh, uh, prebiotic fibers, and I'll talk about those in a second. A probiotic blend, three different specific strains of probiotic bacteria. And then a number of different phytonutrients, some of, some of which you've seen in Vita GBX, like this, like this GBX proprietary blend, immune system support ingredients, digestive support ingredients, all blended into one product. So we can get that second brain in the gut to be as optimized as possible. And so people will feel from this, they'll feel better mood they'll feel less stressed, they'll feel less anxiety, they'll feel overall, if you wanted to sort of sum that up in one word, it would be resilience. That's what you're delivering with kids fundamentals or adult fundamentals. And the way that we get there to deliver this overall holistic effect is by giving you very specific strains of bacteria. I won't go into these in any detail, tonight, because that's not the topic of our, of our presentation tonight. But suffice to say that each one of these helps you feel better in a different way. This specific strain helps reduce stress. This specific strain helps enhance calmness. This specific strain helps improve overall mood. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you some overall data in just a second. But if you want to know the nuances of what those specific strains do, you can go back and look at some of our, uh, some of our presentations on, on that particular topic. We, we, we make sure that we're using the right prebiotic blends. These, again, if you had to sum it up, what these, what these structures of fiber are doing is bringing better behavior under the condition of stress. And that's what we would call stress, be, uh, stress, stress resilience. So that's what the prebiotic fibers are doing. Um, I do want to say something about this because the, the, the autism spectrum disorders, you know, um, you know, being on the spectrum somewhere are, are somewhat related to what I'm going to talk about in the second half of this presentation. When we're looking at children who are kind of um, on the cusp 
of having behavioral issues, needing some help with their focus, needing some help with their, with their irritability levels and things like that. Those, what I'm going to talk about in the second half is primarily brain focused. I do want to say a word about this. Um, when we go back here and we look at this prebiotic fiber called bimuno, this is a galacto oligosaccharide. And this prebiotic fiber called sun fiber, this is a galactomannan. These have been shown to not just nourish good bacteria in the microbiome and not just to deliver stress resilience in the face of stress, but they've specifically been shown in these studies to improve behavior. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I've done a, I've done a whole hour about this particular thing, this this particular concept. So what I really want to want to just say is that, you know, in in this trial done in the UK, looking at the galacto oligosaccharide by Muno, and in this trial uh, done in Japan, looking at the the the, the galacto man and sun fiber, um, these have been, been given to people with autism. You give the right fiber, you change the bacteria that grow. You grow more of the good bacteria. Those bacteria are good because now they're going to be creating the, ser the, the serotonins and the dopamines and the GABAs and the neurotransmitters that we want that are going to help us perform in the face of stress. So these trials have been done to show that if you supplement with the right fiber, you change the bacteria that grow in the gut, in the microbiome, you change the biochemicals that come out into the axis, and so you have changes in immune system function. You have changes changes in inflammatory balance. As a result of that, you have better neurotransmitter function in the brain. And as a result of that, these children perform better. They behave differently. They have less irritability. They have less anxiety. They have less food intolerances and stomach aches, right? There's benefits across the entire gut brain axis. So this is, a, this is one way that we can improve performance mentally by doing something physically in the gut. Um, the, it'll all come full circle when I get to the to the actual presentation that I'm going to give about the about the kids' mood product. But I just wanted to make that mention that there's there are different levers that we can modulate here to help people perform better in different ways. Um, here's some more phytonutrients. This is our GBX proprietary blend that has benefits with phytonutrients across the entire gut brain axis. Um, and I mean, think about it. You know, these phytonutrients are are rich in fruits and vegetables. They're rich in the exact foods that we're typically not eating when we're under stress. You know, I say to people all the time, I did a podcast the other night where I was talking to people to say, look, when you're under stress, the most important thing you can do is eat more fruits and vegetables. But when we're under stress, that's the least of, of, of the things that we're getting our, our cravings for. That stress is biochemically telling us to go eat chips and go eat cupcakes and look for cookies and that kind of stuff. That's a, that's a cortisol signal. We can short circuit that, that stress physiology with these kinds of phytonutrients. It's one of the reasons that we've filed patents all around the globe to protect this idea of using phytonutrients to have signaling effects across the entire gut brain axis. It can help people feel better and perform better in a variety of different ways. One of those ways that people notice very, very quickly is this. This is a way that we can use an amino acid called theanine to really quickly change brainwave patterns. When you're stressed out, when any of us are stressed out, we have a lot of brainwaves that are called beta waves. Those are the kinds of brainwaves that are associated with irritability and, and anxiousness and, and just, just, feeling, just feeling off your game. Theanine can very quickly, within, within about an hour, sometimes less than an hour, shift those beta waves to alpha waves, which are associated with this, relaxed alertness. That's exactly what we want when we want to be focused, when we want to be engaged, when we want to be connected with whatever it is that we want to sp spend our focus on. And that's built into our to our fundamentals products. So, you know, when we put all of that together, when we put just that fundamentals with the probiotics and the prebiotics and the phytobiotics and the amino acids and the digestive performance, the phytonutrients, we put all of that together, your microbiome changes, it sends out better signals across the axis to your brain. And this is what people experience, right? This, I think, this collection of benefits lower tension, lower depression, lower anger, lower fatigue, lower confusion, higher vigor. I think that is something that is that a lot of people are looking for right now, 
right? Especially because we're under stress, especially because that stress is leading to problems with sleep, especially because those problems with sleep are leading to more irritability and more anxiousness the next day. We're in a time where people are praying for this kind of stuff to somehow come into their life. And we've been doing it now for three years, right? From the perspective of helping people feel better, but now we're in a we're in a time where 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 people I, I think will be really really open to leaning into this kind of an idea to find out if this is something that might be appropriate for them. Okay, so the you know the last ingredient or the last product in this in this sort of trajectory of baseline nutrition, and then gut brain axis optimization, and then really focusing on the brain and the head to optimize what we're doing here is kids mood plus and here's here's the formula it's 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 saffron holy basil rosemary oregano clove it sounds like we're making a uh, making a spaghetti sauce or something here right it's these are all culinary spices but what they all share in common is that they have a long long traditional medicine history of being used in cases of melancholy which is the way we you know today we describe that as depression or in cases of of not thriving you know somebody's somebody's system was off they might have an infection they might have you know a, a, a parasite they might have something that is is sending their signaling in their gut brain axis off 3000 years ago and they would be given these spices sometimes in combination sometimes separately sometimes mixed with other traditional herbs and and they would feel better they would perform better and so you know we started with these because they have a long history of use but then we sort of modernized it and we put it in a in a blend that includes prebiotic fibers naturally sweet and naturally flavored we put it in a little in a little pixie stick like this so that you can just rip it open and dump it into your mouth. It makes it really, really easy for kids to consume. And that's, a, that's an important consideration as well, ease of use and no arguments and things like that. A lot of adults use this. I had one of these just before I hopped on this call. Um, but we, we wanted to not just rely on the science around the individual ingredients. We wanted to go and do our own clinical trial. And that's exactly what I was supposed to be presenting yesterday at the experimental biology conference in San Diego. But for obvious reasons, that conference was canceled and it was canceled about a month ago. And I went, oh man, this was a really cool study. And I hope you'll agree with me that, that, that the data and the potential applications of this fill a really, really much needed niche in the world. So what I wanna do is run you through the slides that I would have presented yesterday at the experimental biology conference and you know let you guys know what we did and why we did it and what we found okay so that now we are in the second half of our of our presentation tonight so just to orient everybody about what eb is eb is the experimental biology conference it's a it's a big big nerd fest right i've been going to this thing for probably i want to say 30 years right ever since i was a, a graduate student right figuring out nutrition and doing my doing my PhD dissertation and stuff like that. So I've been going to this conference for a long time and presenting at it almost every single year. So EB, big, big conference, 12,000 scientists, 25 different guest societies. Um, you know, so you've got scientists, you know, nutritionists, you've got physiologists. you want to go listen to because there's so many presentations about cutting edge science in all of these different areas. Look at this, anatomy, biochemistry, molecular biology, investigative pathology, pharmacology, physiology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot going on at EB. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's academics, of course, but it's also industry scientists like myself. It's, you, 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 you get a lot of military that comes to that. So you get to hear about the studies that they're doing with, you know, you know elite warfare fighters and special ops people and things like that is really, really interesting conference. And so very sad that, you know, that, a, that, a, you know, today was supposed to be the last day of EB. The particular 
presentation and, and research that I was going to unveil was going to be within the American Physiological Society. And, and, the, and the presentation that I was going to give, here's the title, Targeted Dietary Supplementation Improves Mental Performance in Children. And you can see who helped me with this, right? I'm the last author here. But each one of these other healthcare pr pr practitioners is a member of the Amare Medical Advisory Board. Uh, and so these are people that will that will reach out to 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 ask their opinions about the things that they're seeing in the clinic and see how the products are working with their clients and their patients. And, you know, so they helped me put this, put this trial together. And it's, it's, it's just really unfortunate that we didn't get to, you know, present it to, um, to all of our colleagues. So, so what ED is doing because we're not able to present in person, uh, they're setting up a central database where all of us are able to, upload our research, right? So upload our slides in a format that, that in the research world is called a poster format. So that's what you'll see on this next slide. So this I put together the other day and it basically takes our abstract, a little bit of our background information and then our key findings. We're not able to put all of the data in a sort of a sort of a condensed area like this, but this is going to be uploaded uh, uploaded to a central database. It's going to be public so that anybody can go out there and they can find this and they can see the research for themselves. Um, so as soon as that database goes live, you know, like I said, um, uh, today was the last supposed to be the last day of experiment, but experimental biology. So I expect that everybody's going to have their data uploaded by the end of this week. And then maybe next week or the week after that, this database will go live. So you'll be able to go and you'll be able to see this and download it. And I'll actually show you someplace else in just a second that it's uh, that it's available right now. Um, but what I want to do if, just over the next few minutes is step you through exactly the presentation that I would have delivered. Okay. And it's about I don't know, eight slides or something like that. So here we go. Here's, here's, here's the background. So the background we came to this with is that all of these ingredients that, you, that, 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 that I just mentioned that are in this formula have a long history in traditional medicine. Whether we're looking at traditional Chinese medicine, you know, 3,000 years of history or traditional Indian medicine, Ayurveda, that has 5,000 years of history, long, long history for alleviating depression and stress and anxiety and insomnia. And the one probably with the best clinical research today, look, using modern techniques, is the saffron. There are, at, at least at this writing, there were at least seven controlled clinical trials that have shown an antidepressant effect of saffron, right? So that makes good sense for us. Let's get a good saffron. Let's use that as sort of our, our, our primary ingredient, but let's not rely just on saffron. Let's surround it with other other bioactives, right? Because saffron's pretty good. Saffron stigma has all of these bioactive compounds, right? Saffronol and crocin and crocetin, and it has a it has a, a very nice collection of complementary flavonoids and terpenes and all of these compounds that are going to be antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, blood flow promoting, neurotransmitter balancing. They have a lot of really good biological activity, but we felt that we could build on that by using some of these other some of these other um, bioactives. So, so why do we choose saffron to begin with, right? Saffron had, has already been used in studies uh, comparing its efficacy. So here's Crocus sat sativus. That's the, that's the Latin name for, for, for saffron versus methylphenidate in the treatment of children with AD, uh, ADHD So this showed equivalence, right? Specific saffron extract that we're using called Afron to help with sleep. Now, this isn't because it makes you sleepy. 
it's because it can also reduce stress and anxiety during the day when it's supplemented. So if your stress load is lower during the day, that helps you with sleep that night. So you have less insomnia, you have better sleep quality. I tell people all the time, if you wanna have a good night's sleep tonight, you needed to start that good night's sleep the day before, right? By getting your stress and your cortisol and your anxiety and your tension under control before, hours before you even think about, uh, about having a good night's sleep, right? So it's, a, it's like a 24 hour cycle that we need to think of if you wanna have a good night's sleep tonight. And then finally, this one, uh, Saffron and the Treatment of Depression, Anxiety and Other Mental Disorders. These trials are looking at, similar to this one, looking at the equivalence of saffron to methylphenidate, Ritalin. These are looking at saffron as, a, as an equivalent to to, uh, to fluoxetine, which is, which is Prozac. So really, really good base, right? A lot of good science on saffron. But we didn't want to choose just any old saffron, right? There's lots of places we can get cheap saffron. But most of the cheap saffron is actually adulterated because saffron is so expensive. And because it comes from part of the world where there's a lot of strife going on, like Afghanistan and Pakistan and Turkey and places like that where, where a lot of the world's saffron comes from, we decided to, to not get into that problem with our, with our supply chain. the saffron called Afron, that's the brand name of it, Hey, Sean. Hey, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Sean, but we actually lost your audio. Performance, right? We don't want to do, even though it's called Kids Mood, Kids Mood Plus, we don't want to have just a mood product. We also want to have a stress product. We also want to have a focus product. We also want to have a resilience product all in one, just like our adult mood plus product. But we're using a we're using a completely different ingredient profile for safety reasons. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Here's what the here's what the what the box looks like. You can see it here if you've never seen it before. There's actually a a, a special promotion going on right now where you can get two boxes of Kids Mood Plus for $75, which is I think it's a hundred and twenty dollar normal price if you bought two boxes, but now it's only $75. So, you know, opens up little stick packs, open it up, dump it in your mouth. Really, really easy to do. The base of it is this, is this isofiber, this prebiotic fiber, but you can see here's our blend of all of those nice natural uh, spice extracts. And what, you know, when we, when, when we look at this, the question is based on that background of, these ingredients already been used in cases of depression, in cases of insomnia, in cases of ADHD. Do we want to repeat those data collections or do we want to look at something different? So, so think about the world of kids' mood and kids' focus for a second. You've got a group of kids that don't need anything, that are doing just fine out there on, on their own in the world. You've got a group of kids that that maybe need a pharmaceutical, right? They need an antidepressant. They need a, uh, you know, a, a, an ADHD style drug, but that's not a decision to be taken lightly, right? There are a lot of side effects with those kinds of medications. With a lot of the ADHD medications, they're basically a couple of chemical steps away from methamphetamine. So you don't want to put your kids on that if you don't have to. And so what that leaves is a huge population of children and adults that are that are sort of in the middle right they're they're they need something to perform at their optimal level but they don't necessarily want to go to a pharmaceutical orientation because of all the things that are associated with that is there a way that we could look at that population of people and see if a natural intervention natural intervention got them the kinds of benefits that they're looking for because if it does awesome and if it doesn't they still have that option to go to the pharmaceuticals later on. So, you know, I wish, and my wife wishes, that we had this option available to us 10 years ago when our kids were in elementary school and probably could have used the help with focus and mood and resilience and all those kinds of things that we measured here. So we specifically looked at kids 
that were on the cusp, that were not that were not diagnosed with depression or ADHD. They were healthy kids, and I'll and I'll and I'll show you about that in just a second. But that's 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 an important sort of sort of framing. And then how we measured the data, how we measured, were we seeing a mood benefit? Were we seeing a stress benefit? Were we seeing a focus benefit? We used a validated metric. Um, so so here it's called the NICHQ. That's a mouthful. Vanderbilt Assessment Scales. So NICHQ stands for National Institute for Children's Health Quality. They do a great job, not just of, of de developing this research tool that we use as a survey, but they put together a whole ADHD toolkit that can really help parents with, you know, things that they can do with their kids, right? Separate from, separate from medications. Um, this, this metric that we use is used by healthcare practitioners, it's used by teachers, it's used by parents as one of the criteria that would help you determine, does this child need to go on one of those medications or not, right? So it's, so it's used as sort of, a, sort of a screening tool. And the, the, the way that we used it, we used it to measure these two components. So you can see them in bold here. There's a symptom assessment or what we would sometimes call attribute assessment and a performance assessment. And it's important for us to collect data in both of those two buckets. And I'll explain why in just a second. The symptom assessment looks at this, five areas, inattention, hyperactivity, defiance, conduct, and anxiety, depression. So you'll get a number, you'll get, a, you'll get sort of a, you'll get an assessment in each of those five areas and then overall. And it's really the overall number that we care about because here we're talking about natural ingredients to improve a holistic performance. That's really what we're looking for. But symptom assessment or attribute assessment is looking at kids in, in, in what, you might what, what you might describe as a controlled setting, right? So how are the kids doing when everything is going well, right? That, you know, they're at home, you know, there's no distractions, there's no stress being imposed on them. That's, that's still important information. But what you really care about is this performance assessment. Things where the environment is not controlled, where the environment might go haywire, right? It might be loud, it might be confusing, it might be uncomfortable because of the people that you're interacting with, and that's where the rubber really, really meets the road. And 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 I'll and I'll and I'll show you how that how the two measurements differ a little bit in just a second. Hey, Sean. So what we did, yeah. Hey, do you think you can go ahead and repeat the performance assessment aspect just because the audio cut out a little bit? Oh, did I did I did I zip out a little bit? Yeah. So, yeah. so the 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 performance piece is looking at these measurements, these attribute measurements in a in in a, in, in a stressful environment, right? So this kind of stressful environment that are that are most important, most meaningful. Are, are when the kids are doing schoolwork, right? So reading, writing, math, but also when they're in social situations, whether it's with their parents or their siblings or their peers, like, you know, for example, on a sports team, for example, any kind of situation where it's not a calm, controlled situation, right? Where, where there's external mediating factors, right? That's a lot of times where the kids are, are, gonna, are, are gonna have a meltdown. They're gonna have a, they're gonna have a blow up. They're gonna they're gonna act out. They're gonna have some behavioral problem, right? And so if we can see a, a benefit on the symptoms or the attributes, that's awesome. But if we can see a benefit on the performance, that's even better because that's that's where it really matters in a lot of ways. So so how we did this was we had the parents administer this. Uh, we had them administer it before baseline, and we had them administer it thirty days later after supplementation. And this is important that we have a metric like this that can, that can quantify any sort of a change that we see over time. Because a lot of times you'll, you know, parents want to see a benefit, right? Parents will be sitting there going, yeah, I think, I think it's working because they want it to work. They want their kids to get this benefit. On the flip side, a lot of times the parents are just, 
they've got their own life to lead, right? And they can't be looking at the kid every single minute and, and figuring out, are they better? Are they not better? So having this tool that quantifies, it can actually measure over time and give us a number is really, really important, you know, especially when we're trying to, when we're trying to prove this out. So, so let me go to this, let me go to this next one. So you can see what the survey looks like. Um, you know, it's a, it's a couple of pages. I'm showing you the first page of this. There's certain ways that we score it and, you know, each one of these is weighted a little bit differently, depending on, you know, depending on the on the on the scale we're looking at. So this is developed by the NICHQ, as I mentioned before, it's endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics. It's been used in, I mean, hundreds of thousands of evaluations, but it's also been studied in dozens and dozens of clinical trials. But I want to point out one thing that I thought was a little bit curious. You can also see this logo on the bottom right, McNeil. This is a division of Johnson and Johnson. Um, and I, I've said before on many, many uh, calls, like I'm not an anti-pharmaceutical kind of a person, but I did. Seller of, of, a, of a different kind of drug called ProVigil. Uh, the, the, the generic name is modafinil. Uh, this is used in narcolepsy to improve daytime alertness. And nowadays, so it's approved for narcolepsy, um, you know, sort of, you know, fall, you know, falling asleep during the day. Um, and it's being used more and more and more in cases of ADD and ADHD to help people focus, you know. So, you know, these are both very, very potent synthetic pharmaceutical drugs. You would never want to go on one of these unless you absolutely had to because of their side effect profiles. Side effect profiles uh, are, along with suppressing your appetite, changing your cardiovascular dynamics, increasing blood pressure, you know, increasing heart attack risk, the list goes on and on and on. And you know, there's some people who really feel that these have some some very much addictive qualities to them because they're like I said before, they're structurally and biochemically, they're very similar to methamphetamines, you know, so, so not, a, not a decision you want to make lightly if there, if there are other options that you can consider. So when we, when we specifically looked at these kids who are on the cusp, not diagnosed with ADD, not diagnosed with depression, and we supplemented them with just one stick of Kids Mood Plus every day for 30 days, and we measured them over time and compared their results pre-supplementation to post-supplementation, this is what we found. Dramatic improvements on assessment of both symptoms, focus, attention, mood, listening, tension, irritation, and performance, and those are the schoolwork and social situations and things like that. I'll show you that graph in just a second. We had 100% efficacy. 10 out of 10 kids had benefits in response to supplementation. So let me, let me frame that appropriately, right? So we got 100% of kids had a benefit. But remember who those kids were. Those were the kids in, in that sort of gray zone. They weren't necessarily diagnosed with a problem over here that needed a pharmaceutical, but neither were they the, you know, the, maybe, the, maybe the kids who are just carefree and stress-free and don't need anything at all. But that describes, that group of kids describes a big proportion of kids. You know, it describes my kids. It describes a lot of adults, myself included. For someone to have, be in that benefit or in that area that could use a natural benefit, we got 100% we got effectiveness in that, in that group of 10 in this pilot trial. And what we saw was a 29% improvement on the symptoms and an 18% improvement on the performance markers, which, which, which make a lot more sense when you, see them, when you see them graphically like this. So a 29% improvement in these attributes, focus, attention, mood, listening, tension, irritation. But remember, these are, these are under controlled conditions, right? These are when the kids are just around, right? Around the house, you know, in a, in, in a setting that's not inducing stress. Wonderful. But remember what I said before is it's the performance measurements when they're in those stressful situations that really, really matter. Sometimes you can see an intervention that looks good here, but then falls apart here. 
because it doesn't have that persistence of efficacy, right? That you, you don't have that carryover benefit, but we do here. And I think that's what's really, really important because now these kids can be in those stressful situations and not have that meltdown, not have that behavioral issue, be in that stressful setting and be able to focus instead of the wheels coming off, right? And that's where it really, really matters when we, when we think of it from a, from a real life perspective, what's this going to mean to me or to my kids, you know, in their, in their day-to-day -day existence. So here's our conclusions. Conclusions are really, really straightforward because the data was so clean. Previous human trials in children and teenagers have shown equivalence of saffron to fluoxetine, that's Prozac, for depression, and methylphenidate or Ritalin for ADHD. We talked about that already. This is the first study in a population of normal, healthy, non-diagnosed children that sort of sweet spot I talked about before, showing improvements in not just mental focus attributes, but also mental performance academically and socially subsequent to targeted supplementation. So these kids did better on any measurement that we could look at using this very well validated tool. And this last king But it also works in adults. You know, one of the one of the one of the very funny, um, you know, unplanned benefits that we've seen since launching this product you know, um, last September is that we see a lot of adults that are using it. You know, I use the Adult Mood Plus product every single morning, and I use this Kids Mood Plus product almost every single afternoon, right? It tastes good. It's easy to use. You can you throw it in a pocket, throw it in a glove compartment, whatever. Um, and, it, and, it, and it works because they have different ingredient profiles. They work in very, very complementary ways. So, you know, don't let the name kids mood fool you. It really can be used in adults as well. So that brings us back. And my last, last couple of things that I'm going to say is, you know, really what I'm talking about tonight is how we can use nutrition whether it's vitamins or minerals or fibers or probiotics or phytonutrients or you know, here we're using targeted spices to really improve how we feel and how we perform in the face of stress. Sometimes we're doing things in the gut for resilience. Sometimes we're doing things in the entire body for foundational nutrition. Sometimes we're doing things specifically in the brain for that performance benefit. And so when you look at, you know, and again, I'm using kids, I'm using the kids pack as just that sort of framing, but this really applies when you look across the entire Amari product line. When you look at something like kids Vita GBX or adult Vita GBX, you're nourishing the body, healthy body, but you're also nourishing the mind bright mind. So you could think of this and go, yeah, that's what I need. Amari has a solution for that. You can also look at it sort of one step up in terms of complexity or, 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 or performance attributes. And you can see that we have the, we have the gut brain axis systems, the kids fundamentals and the adult fundamentals that is, that is bringing, it's bringing all of those different mood states that I showed you from our other clinical trial in, on, on, on depression and confusion and fatigue and all of that. But if you were to sum all of that up, it would really be a resilience improver because we're having proper signaling across that entire gut brain axis. And then we can think about, about Kids Mood Plus as, as, as the cherry on top of really getting people to that level of mental fitness and optimal mental performance. So, you know, you can look at any of the Amari products and you can say, huh, Here's how I'm using nutrition to satisfy my foundation. Here's how I'm using nutrition to go that next level and control stress and improve resilience. Here's how I'm using nutrition to go that last piece of the puzzle to really improve mental fitness and mental performance, right? You can decide what level you need. You can use one versus the other. You can use them in different combinations. Or like we really try to do is tell people to use them in, in, in as much of a comprehensive holistic fashion as possible because that's where you're going to get the benefits where you're not just going to be able to get by in the stressful world that we live right now, but actually able to thrive and go to that best version of yourself. And what could be better than, than the time now that we find ourselves in to take a look at that. So with that, that's my last slide. I'm going to go up here and stop sharing my screen.
and I'm going to check the time and I'm going to see, look at that. We're, we're right barely at the top of the hour. Um, I'm going to ask Michael if he's been monitoring that chat room at all and see if there's anything that we want to, that we want to take and answer as a question or if, or if we should take those offline. Yeah, you know, we, we, there's a couple of questions that came through as uh, you lost a little bit of, of connection there. Um, but, you know, if you guys missed the, the aspects where we, we mentioned where our saffron is, is sourced from, um, you know, maybe Sean, you, you, do you want to touch back on that real quickly? Yeah, so this, this is a really important piece is that, you know, uh, the, what I was trying to describe there, and, you know, this is a consideration that we have across every single ingredient in our Amari product line, is that we're always looking at, w w I mean, where, where are we going to get these ingredients from? We are a global company where we're sourcing ingredients from all around the world. And saffron in particular tends to be sourced. Nope, oh, we lost you again. It's <laughs> also a certain percentage other stuff because it's so expensive, right? It just sort of, it's, 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 it's rife for corruption, you know? So we decided to try to find someplace else and we source it from Spain. Mm -hmm. We get it from a farm just south of Madrid. And that way we're able to get rid of some of that, 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 that um, potential for contamination or potential for adulteration, but we still, we still, we still do our own due diligence on it, right? We get their certificate of analysis from the supplier, but then we also send it out to our, you know, to our third-party analytical laboratories to make sure it has what we want and it's standardized for the right bioactives and it doesn't have any of those contaminants and things like that. So, and we do that for every single ingredient and every single product across our entire product line. So that's a really, really important consideration. Thanks for, thanks for letting me clarify that for you guys. Anything else, Michael? Awesome. No, I, I think that's it. Um, you All know, right. In our chat over here, I think that was a fantastic you know, share of, of the clinical studies there. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, so let me, let me, let me just w mention one last thing. So it just turned over the top of the hour. So I set up my blog tonight to, to once this was finished, right at eight o'clock p.m. mountain time, um, it, it should have just uploaded to my blog right now, um, a shorter version of that kid's mood uh, presentation. So it's about 20 minutes, but it's just about Kids Mood Plus. It's up on my blog right now, the video, um, along with the slides and along with a PDF of that poster presentation that I showed you earlier. So all of that is there right now at SeanTalbot.com. You can go and share the YouTube video. You can download the slides to have them in your library. You can share around that 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 poster presentation if you want to, but that's up there for everybody to consume and share with uh, with 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 whoever you want to right now. Okay, so thanks a lot for joining us tonight, and be sure to join in on uh, on Thursday night when Michael and I will be back to talk about some other aspect of mental wellness. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, Bye -bye. everybody.